Hi, I'm Darren from Wits and Cape Town. In this short clip, we're going to show you how to knock out a background on an image that we previously scanned on our Epson 12000 Excel. It's a very simple process, so please follow along. So what we have here is an A5 image, scanned at about 800 pixels per inch, so it's quite high resolution. If we have a look at the background, we've got a bit of texture going on. That's the original paper texture. The aim of this video is to just show you how to knock that out while retaining a decent edge between the painted area and the background. Our first step to achieving this, we are going to select the color range tool. You're going to want to select the white in the background, hold down shift and just drag about a centimeter across to sample a couple of the colors in the white area. Now I found that a fuzziness of 18 works for this image that knocks out quite a fair amount of the background leaving a fair amount of the front image detail not selected. Now our next step we're going to create an alpha channel out of that. Let's select that alpha channel to deselect the selection. Now what we want to do is create a bit of a raw selection. Now I've selected a tolerance of 32 and I have contiguous selected. That is because we don't want to select any of the white on the inside of this channel. Our next step we are going to modify the selection by expanding it by about 20 pixels. The reason we're doing this we want this edge to move over into the image and we're just going to knock out all those little selected black bits on the background. We're just going to want to clean this up a little bit because we have a few unselected pieces at the bottom, just additional leftover black bits. So just grab a zero pixel marquee and just add those pieces in quickly. We are going to inverse the selection and then you need to modify it again by feathering it. Now we have moved the selection about 20 pixels in so we're going to feather it by about 10. Now we are going to fill that area with just complete black and then your next step is going to be to expand the selection and we want to expand it about 30 pixels from the black edge there and we've got it about 20 pixels in now so we're going to expand by about 50. We're going to inverse that and fill that with white. So now we have a rough alpha channel here. We've got a bit of detail that needs to be adjusted there but we'll do that when we output it to a mask which is our next step. So let's load the channel as a selection. and I'll put that as a mask. Okay, we're going to take that mask and we're going to invert it. I've already dropped a white background layer in there. So now if we have a look here, we've got pretty good edge detail, quite a reasonable selection. There's a little bit of cleaning up to do and you're going to have this with each image that you process in this manner. Switch to black and select our brush. So areas like this, I generally select um, a pretty hard brush, maybe move that down to about 74, 75% and let's just paint in those areas, just cleaning up the edge ever so slightly. You can do this to whatever degree of accuracy you feel is necessary. 
generally when you render a print that's at about the same size you don't have to be extremely extremely accurate with this because a lot of this detail is not going to render out in print at an A5 size. Put a little bit of additional stuff to clean up there and there. There we go. We can switch that around and you can see there's a little bit of detail that's kind of been masked out here. We just want to put that back by switching to white. All right, so that's a quick and simple way to knock out a background to pure white. Mm -hmm.